right, this is a uh, heat kit regulated high voltage power supply model IP17 and I acquired from from eBay and uh, as you can see I removed all the uh, electrolytic capacitors from the circuit board um, and I'm going to replace them with these uh, Nishikon capacitors I just came in today from uh, Digikey. I've replaced several of the resistors that were on the circuit board already the values that I had. I didn't have any 2 watt resistors uh, or a 1k resistor so I got I got all the resistors and all the capacitors and I'm also going to replace the uh, all the original binding posts. They're, uh, they're crappy old aluminum and the inside's corroded and the color that's supposed to be green but anyway, the, the colors are all faded, and so I I got uh, all new um, all new binding posts, and I'm in the process of replacing these. Um, these are these two are pretty much inaccessible, and I can't get a a nut driver on this one from behind. So I'm going to remove the front panel, which is going to involve taking the two handles off the side and and unscrew it, and it should just fold down, and I can get at it. I'll uh, I'll come back when I've got that apart and I can show you uh, I don't want to bore you with watching me take this stupid thing apart but anyway I've also uh, I've already been in here and I um, <clears throat> looked it over everything seems to be pretty good and other, otherwise I I just ordered a tube tester on eBay today I just want a pretty good price actually and um, I pulled all the tubes out of this thing and I cleaned them up straighten the pins uh, scrape the pins to uh, you know clean the, any corrosion off and um, once I get this recapped, put all the resistors back in, get the uh, get the binding posts replaced, and I'll fire it up and and and, and uh, do a, an alignment on it and see if it needs any adjustments to zero it out or or whatever, and, and we'll see how it performs. All right, thanks. Okay, we got the front panel disconnected here and laid down. I pulled all the old rotten, tired, sad binding posts. Put all new binding posts in the uh, little metal brackets that they came with it originally from these kids don't fit over the binding post ends I got so I put some new I soldered uh, new end connectors. These are round connectors and on the for the these are the taps for the uh, filament voltage 12.6 and 6.3 um, these these were soldered originally, and so I just re-soldered them to the back there. Now I'm going to go through, put the caps in, re uh, put the put the two watt resistors in. Also, there's a there's two dropping resistors here for the neon uh, lamps that are to indicate whether you're looking at the C, you know, the bias voltage or the B plus voltage. I'm going to probably look at these have drifted out of tolerance or 17k resistors and they've drifted out so I'm going to take a voltage measurement when I get this fired back up and get a couple of diodes and make replace the neon lamps with a red and orange LED so the colors will match and I'm also probably going to drill uh, put in a little either a blue or green LED for power on indicator as this does not have any power on indicator and I've had issues with uh, leaving things on that don't have a power indicator light on them so I'll, I'll probably add that mod here shortly and uh, I'll just run that off the 110 alright I'll be back well we're back and I have this Heath kit high voltage regulated power supply all recapped. You can see there, put all brand new Nishikon 450 volt rated capacitors, even where it says only 300. I went all 450 everywhere. I also replaced all the resistors with uh, 5%, um, quite a bit smaller, the, uh, the 2 watt resistors there. You can see the size difference. These are also 
two watt from 19 or circa 1963 or so. And also put all new binding posts on the front. Um, painted this side rail. It was pretty scuffed up. I'm probably going to do the same to this one. It's not as bad, but uh, you have to take this all these screws out, and then this this little rail just comes off, and you can paint it separately. I also removed this when I was taking the uh, the front panel off. This this is an aluminum bezel that fits around, and it was kind of crusty, so I gave it a sh coat of black. Um, I also replaced the uh, m switch mounting screws. They were all rusty, and they were slot type. I replaced them with uh, plated Phillips type. Anyway, now next I'm going to um, plug this thing in and uh, see if put put the tubes back in it first, of course, and plug this thing in and see if I see if there's any life in it. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. <clears throat> well, we fired it up, and when you switch from DC on, from standby to DC on, it <clears throat> energizes the main power transformer which is here and I'm not seeming to get any uh, high A I'm not getting the, the B plus voltage I'm it's supposed to get it's supposed to have on the red wires here red red 600 volts AC and when I snap on the uh, standby to DC I'm supposed to see 600 volts I'm not getting 600 volts that's for sure not anywhere close now, I don't know if we can see that yeah that's Get that around here where we can see it a little bit better. All right, I'm sitting at 120 volts, and when I snap it on, the dim bulb goes pretty, pretty good. And, and AC volts. Hundred and thirteen, hundred and twelve, and it drops. Should be six hundred. So something's either dragging it way down, or the transformer shot. So I've got some checking to do, and also I noticed that the uh, these uh, voltage regulator tubes, the OA2s, V1 and V2, are supposed to glow a kind of a powder blue glow when they're working right. They're cold as ice and uh, no glow. All the other tubes you can see the cathode heater the, excuse me not the cathode but the heater glowing a nice orange in the 6L6's and also in the uh, 6X4 and the uh, 6BH6 those are all seem to be glowing. I don't have a tube tester I just bought one today on eBay and haven't arrived yet. I don't even know if it works as much as anything you get on eBay. It may or may not work when you get it. I can do some some work on it. Some things will never work. Anyway. So, there we are. I, uh, I've got some troubleshooting to do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to check the, uh, I'm gonna check the uh, heater voltages on those OA2s and see if I uh, have heater voltage there. If there's heater voltage, these are just cold. And also the caps, I went to discharge the caps, I fired it up earlier and I'm not getting anything out of that. So I got a bunch of checking to do and uh, when I discover something more I'll come back and 